patients tell me all the time that their doctor may have said a few years back, oh, you have a little fatty liver. But they never said there was fatty liver disease. And they certainly didn't say there was something as serious as NASH, which we know can lead to liver cancer or the need for transplant. Unfortunately, the one in four people who we know are walking around with some form of fatty liver disease or NASH are mostly asymptomatic or the symptoms are so subtle that they often go unnoticed or unchecked. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is the, the accumulation of uh, too much fat in your liver because you, you have a, a metabolic dysregulation and all your organs are accumulating fat, not only your liver. So it created many disturbances throughout your body. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis should be seen as the liver consequences of this metabolic dysregulation and it can lead to cirrhosis, hepatocellular carcinoma and the need of liver transplant. In patients with type 2 diabetes, around two-thirds will have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but in addition, once they have type 2 diabetes, the progression to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis is more common. So the doctor or the patients, once they are obese or if they have diabetes, you have to have a low threshold to suspect it. To identify NASH, you have to do a liver biopsy. So liver biopsies are an invasive procedure has complications linked to it, um, bleeding, pain, discomfort. It's costly to do. People have to take off from work, sometimes for a couple days to recover. And there's variability in the biopsy sampling. So while liver biopsy remains the gold standard, it's an imperfect gold standard. So we really need to begin to find tools to uh, allow us to move away from a liver biopsy that we can put in primary care, in endocrine, in gastroenterologist hands that make it simple and easy to diagnose at-risk NASH. Blood-based testing is incredibly important, particularly in, in areas of high unmet need, such as identification of patients with at-risk NASH. And as such, we do believe that development of novel blood-based biomarker technologies will have an integral role. GenFit is a biopharmaceutical company focused on the development of both diagnostics as well as therapeutic solutions in chronic liver diseases and metabolic conditions. Our biomarker program really stemmed out of our clinical development program for NASH. So in the pursuit of drugs, novel drugs and solutions for NASH, we ended up discovering that there's not many purposefully built diagnostic solutions to identify patients with at-risk NASH. This is what prompted our R&D effort, which eventually led to the development of the technology that we call NIS4. NIS4 is a blood-based diagnostic technology which integrates the values of four different assays through a, a proprietary algorithm that computes a score and that score has clinical value in helping a physician identify whether a patient with suspected disease has or does not have at-risk NASH. LabCorp's drug development group worked very closely with the scientists at GenFit over the past several years to develop and validate the biomarkers that went into the final NIS4 technology, which makes up the NASH Next test. And now it's available on the standard clinical diagnostic test menu that LabCorp has available across the United States. We hope that patients get the peace of mind of getting a more specific diagnosis and frankly, sometimes avoid uh, the need for a liver biopsy. And then on the backside, once we get FDA approved therapeutics to treat fatty liver disease and NASH, a better diagnosis up front should help facilitate finding the right patients to be placed on those new medications in the future. I have had six liver biopsies and I hope to never have another one. It has been exciting to see the field really embrace non-invasive diagnostics so that we can get beyond the biopsy and ensure that we can screen and diagnose the vast numbers of NASH patients that we need to without such a risky, invasive, and painful procedure. 
as a patient advocate, we will be relying on the endocrinology community for their continued partnership to really defeat NASH and to make sure that every person living with type 2 diabetes has their NASH control. That will make a huge impact, not only on liver diseases, not only on diabetes, but on the public health of the United States.